Festus Kiyama comes under fire for saying that President Muhammad Buhari does not need YX certificate to be president. To have this conversation with me right here in the studio, I start with Dr. Tony Akabono. Welcome, sir. Thanks for having me. And we have Max Olga. Welcome as well. Thanks for having me. Let's start with Festus Kiyamo. He says, according to the Constitution, that President Muhammad Buhari or anybody else does not need a certificate to run for any office, especially that of the presidency and governorship. In fact, according to him, if you have worked in the public service for a period of time, that should suffice. Starting with you, Max Olga, you are a lawyer, a legal practitioner. Is he correct? That's the position of the law. Hmm. It's school certificate or its equivalent. Then our constitution in one of its schedules defines what an equivalent of a school certificate means. 10 years in the public service is considered as an equivalent of a school certificate. Attendance of seminars and conferences is also considered as an equivalent to a school certificate. Uh -huh. You know, so if you, if you pigeonhole it within that context, you will agree with Kiamo. I Why do you have use not the word read him. Why did you use the word no, no, pigeonhole? No, no, no. A lot of times, a lot of times we, we, we analyze things out of context. And whatever is not looked at within a given context will always be misconstrued. Uh, uh, Tony Akabono, let me hear your thoughts on this one. Well, I don't, uh, I'm not a lawyer from basic principle. I'm assuming that Professor um, Kiamu is citing 1999 constitution as amended. Mm -hmm. And he must be referencing section 131, sure. which is very unambiguous on what the requirements to be eligible to be president of Nigeria. And one of the things that I've seen there is that he must um, possess um, the school certificate or his equivalent. Um, there is no ambiguity there. You know, I've read through that section 131 very well with clarity of thought. And uh, Festus Kiamu is not speaking, talking law. We do respect him. All right. So yeah. well, let's talk about let's talk about this equivalent, <laughs> as he has stated. Either you have worked in, you have been in public service for ten years, or you have attended seminar or some other equivalent. Is that where this rather, would I say, division is? Because it has said you need it, or if you don't have it, then this is the equivalent. Is that where your grouse is? Well, if. Um if um, the Supreme Court at the end of the day want to interpret that, I will want to see um, the APC or President Muhammad Ubaris Council to see that he doesn't have it and begin to tell us that he has his equivalent. Let's take it up from there. Let's even get to the point where he says he doesn't have it. They will take it up from there. But you see, that's the interesting <laughs> thing. That is why we're having this conversation because some people are asking, why is Festus Kiyamo even making this conversation? Because the president has said he does have the YX certificate. Precisely. And that which he presented <laughs> has been certified by the authorities as being, you know, authentic. So why did he even need to weigh in on this conversation in the first place and start this controversy? Yes, we know about what's going on with Adeliki uh, uh, in Oshu State, but did he need to get involved and even bring the president into this matter? Um, Max Oga. Uh, no, that question um, should be for Mr. Kiyamo himself. Hmm. Anyways, we would like to say that we tried to reach out to Mr. Kiyamo. We called him and he chose not to speak on the matter. But then, getting into the mind of Kiyamo, at this time, why is he bringing it up? What would you think is the reason he's bringing this up? I suspect that um, he's trying to distract Nigerians. Maybe he has realized that uh, the president actually does not have a certificate. And he's trying to look at the area of equivalent to try and distract us. The point is that... Section 131, I repeat, says that you must have school certificate or its equivalent. Academic, there's no, there's no ambiguity there, all right? If Festus Kiyamo is saying that um, civil service, let him come out straight and say the president does not have it. Then, that means somebody's lying. Because mm -hmm. the president did say in the past that he has it and presented a document that will be certified, will be verified by the court. Mm -hmm. So, who is somebody's lying? If the oh. president says he has it, Kiyamu say he doesn't need it. I mean, let's be very clear on what we are what Of we course, are we know at this moment that Atiku Abubakar and the PDP has gone to the election petition tribunal. And just a few days ago, they, some respondents have been even talking about it, especially the APC. Is there a possibility, just 
humor me on this. Is there a possibility the reason Festus Kiamo has come out to make this comment via Twitter is because they see a possibility also or a circumstance in which the election petition tribunal will begin to ask questions such as, does President Muhammad Buhari even qualify to be president when it comes to his YX certificate? Max. Let me, let me, let me address an issue that will help us put a lot of um, the questions you may like to ask mm, behind please, us. Please. Look, the issue of... Um, Possessing or not possessing a certificate is a pre-election matter. The issue of qualification to run, like some people are saying, I mean, a particular candidate is um, not Nigerian by birth. These are pre-election matter. You raise these issues before the election. But if they are doubts, you go to the elections petition tribunal, which is no, no, where no, no, it no, has no, no, gotten no, no, no. to. Please, please, please. Just why don't you follow me? Okay. The election petition tribunal is meant for resolving disputes arising from compliance with the Electoral Act, right, and conducting elections in accordance with laid down procedures, right? Qualification or non-qualification is what comes before an election, right? Mm -hmm. Taking it from the issue of being a Nigerian by bed, at the point someone picks up a nomination form, or someone returns a nomination form to INEC, if you feel strongly that that person is not qualified to run by virtue of not being a citizen, by virtue of beg, you raise it at that point. May I now ask a question? Please go Why on. do you think the APC has brought it up at the elections petition? That, that, is, that is why I said, let me put these things on the front burner so that we save ourselves a lot of trouble. That is why I'm asking you. You, you, you understand? Look, look, look. I don't, I am too busy to get involved in discussions that take us to nowhere. Hmm. No, that's the truth of the matter. That's why I'm putting these things on the table so that we, we look at more serious things. Okay, so, you are, are, so you, you're saying that what APC has brought before the election petition tribunal does not it hold is, look, water. It, it, look, it, is, it does it is, not hold water. It is water. a no issue, mm -hmm. if you ask me. Interesting. It is a no issue. And you're going to get, you're going to get my thoughts on, on this, but not because of the tribunal. Okay. I'm going to share some legal, I mean, some legal thoughts on, on this, not because, because of the Please tribunal. Please go ahead. Now because that I am aware that the APC, mm -hmm. right, or rather, I am not aware that the APC cross-petitioned as a respondent Yes. In my opinion, you don't go and raise the issues of the qualification of the petitioner to have participated in the election. Mm -hmm. No, you only raise those issues if you cross petition. Mm -hmm. Right? So having not cross petition, at least to the best of my knowledge, all you are expected to do is just to justify an exposition that you won an election. You don't go and raise issues at this point. Now let's let, let my final word. Every respondent in an election petition carries along with him or her a shield. It is a petitioner who goes with a sword. So where a respondent begins to use a sword to dig up issues, mm -hmm. but from the competence, qualification, or otherwise, of the petitioner, then there's a question mark. What's the question mark? What are we questioning now? I have said a respondent should carry a shield. He should defend the declaration that has been made by INEC. Could that question be based on the fact that maybe APC has something to hide and now they're going on to the offensive before the defensive even starts? I'm just, you said question mark and we, we simply extrapolated. Permit me to say that. Well, I mean, you have always shown your affiliations to the PDP. How does that play into the PDP's hands this time with the election petition tribunal? Well, this is, uh, to me, is about um, Nigeria now, not about APC or PDP, right? I think the issue I stick with Nigerians are watching is um, to confirm whether the election was um, fraudulent, whether the election was credible or not. And then if PDP has gone to court uh, to say that um, there were election malpractices, I think the onus is on APC to respond accordingly and not to distract Nigerians, you know, and just waste the time of the election petition. Like my learned friend here has said, you know, I think APC is just raising up non-issues. The point is that, did you rig the election? The results that were published, are they authentic or not?
Mm. All right, this this debate continues. Honestly <laughs> speaking, this debate but, continues. Yes, but we do have to wrap this up right here. We would like you to continue this debate on the comment section of this video. What do you think? First of all, it I mean, the election petition tribunal has been sitting and is on when it comes to the presidential elections. Who actually won? That's the question. Nati Kobobakar says his mandate was stolen. Do you believe that? What are your thoughts? Let us know. You've been watching this exclusive right here on Roost TV Nigeria. My name is Gloria Oji Emode.